painting is a dead man. The day we invented photography. No, sir. There are folks out there in Paris and Normandy. They are reinventing it. At the twilight of the 19th century, revolutionized by the arrival of motors, electricity, the telephone, photography, and cinema, French painting scene was still dominated by the Academy and its rigid standards. It's not realistic enough. The anatomy, the lighting, it's far from perfect. Monet, Renoir, Degas, Cisley, Courbet, Morisot, Cézanne, Pissarro, a group of daring artists would emerge to overturn the established rules, the Impressionists. While most painters worked indoors, the invention of tube paint enabled artists to get out and get as close as possible to the elements, colors, and light, and thus to draw out their deepest features. Color is my daily obsession, my joy and my torment. Monet was in the vanguard. In 1872, one of his paintings, Impression Soleil Levant, gave its name to Impressionism. Popularized by a journalist, Louis Leroy, the word is rather a pejorative noun, and it caught on, often against the advice of the artists themselves. But it wasn't until 1874 that the movement really began to take shape. At Nadas in Paris, a now legendary exhibition was held, organized as a reaction against the Salon, the institution that made and broke artists. The previous year's show had been a stormy affair. Artists were refused entry and the jury's conservative choices were exposed. The outings continue and even multiply. With easel on their shoulder and brushes in their saddlebags, these painters of a new genre leave the cities in search of unforgettable skies, enchanting stretches of water and bucolic gardens. They are witnesses to cities and lives that are changing. Some even travel. Paul Signac heads south to paint the Pope's palace in Avignon with his ever-thickening brush strokes and almost fluorescent colors. Then Venice, where the reflections of the buildings on the canals would attract so many other artists. And then there's Gauguin, for whom that's not enough, and who goes to the other side of the world, to Polynesia, in search of undiscovered colors and atmospheres. Van Gogh followed his advice to settle in Arles and soak up the intense colors of southern France. Maximilien Luce chose nearby Saint-Tropez to settle for a time. The Impressionists were no longer all French, and the movement spreads throughout Europe. Some artists were not content to paint in summer, as winter lights created atmospheres rarely seen before. Here again, the ability to paint quickly changes the subjects artists tackle. Alone or together, these painters evolved their techniques, but above all revolutionized art in general. Schematization brought a form of abstraction that heralded the advent of abstract art and then design in general, which today shapes the world we know. And that's why these pieces of stretched canvas smeared with water and pigments sell today for prices that are out of all proportion to reality. <laughs>